Is clay shooting under threat with the proposed lead ban? Well, in this video, I'll be having a look at some of the alternatives using two steel cartridges. One is the super light steel green core in 16 gram. And secondly is the precision steel plastic wad in 21 gram. Now I'll be visiting two different grounds. One is a fibre only ground, the other does allow plastic. So I'll get a good feel for both. The first one that I must mention with the super light steel, it is actually a green core wad rather than fibre. So you need to double check if you are going to try these out yourselves, please double check with the ground that they do allow a green core wad because it isn't the same as fibre as you'll find out when I open one up shortly. And some of grounds that are fibre only do stipulate that you can't use a green core wad. So please double check with them before you start shooting. So the super light steel green core will be up against two of the very best mid-range cartridges in the Fiocchi F Black and game ball velocity and then I'll be really testing it by putting it up against two of the very best fibre cartridges on the market firstly is game balls black gold dark storm quad seal and secondly is the BMP next fibre I'll be opening those up as well just to show you exactly what you get for the money then when I visit the plastic allowed ground, I'll be using the Precision Steel by Lyle Vale Express, and that's a 21 gram. And then I'll be putting it up against the likes of the BMP Legend. And again, one of the best plastic wad cartridges on the market is Game Balls White Gold. So they will really be given a run for the money. There's no point testing them against a cheap cartridge. We really need to see exactly what these cartridges can do and how they do compare for the future. I will be using the current maximum recommended choke size of half or modified, along with a 3 8 or light modified choke in this test. Now there is also some discussion online and I have seen quite a few people saying that some of the top shots in some of the European events now are using up to full choke with steel. And also companies such as Fab Arm, I know, are now making guns where they say that some of them are capable of using up to full choke with steel. But at the time of making this video, it is still really recommended to only use up to half. So that's what I'm using but it looks like technology is definitely moving in the right direction and we should all be hopefully be able to use full choke should steel be the main material in the future. Okay, so let's open each cartridge up. And you get a really good quality shot. Now, with any luck, the fibre wad will come out in one piece. Then going further down, we get the green core seal and all of the powder. So that is the green core seal, which is a similar design to the game ball one, which you will see shortly. It's essentially, for want of a better description, acts sort of like an O ring to give a better seal within the cartridge to hopefully give a better, tighter pattern than a normal fibre wad cartridge would do. So that's what you get for paying a little bit extra.
Now I'm going to be opening the Game Boy Dark Storm Quad Seal, which again is a top of the range fibre cartridge. Once again, the shot looks of really high quality, as you'd expect. the plastic wad and now finally Lyle Vale super light steel 16 gram now this will really be facing some stiff competition because like the name says it's only 16 grams of shot and I'm comparing it to 28 grams of lead. So there's notably far less pellets obviously within the cartridge. Now moving on to the green core wad. So you can see it's a similar design to the plastic wads. If you just get Larval plastic wad to compare it to. But these will biodegrade far quicker. So better for the environment, etc. Now I'm just going to compare the three amounts of pellets within each cartridge. So I just finally want to show you the difference with the amount of pellets within each cartridge. 
Firstly, this was the 16 gram, then the 21 gram, and finally moving on to the 28 gram lead. So you can see there is a massive difference of the amount of pellets between a 28 gram lead and especially against the 16 gram steel. But let's see if that makes a difference out on the range. So what do I feel about these steel cartridges? Well, put it like this, I'm going back for more. So this is Lee Marston's compact area and I'm reliably informed by Matt, the chief instructor here, that the C-trap is 60 yards from the stand. You've then got B, which is a batu, at maybe 50, 55 yards. And then the real testing target is the F trap, which is a Shondell. And when I show you an actual target in flight, I reckon the kill point will be round about 50, 55 yards because it's heading over to the C trap itself. Then we've got D, which is a teal, so edge on and quite far away, so another good testing target as well. The A is a relatively low crosser, so edge on, so that will be another test for the braking capacity. Let's see what the energy is like of the 16 gram targets, so let's give them a go.
So what conclusions have I come to after shooting both of these cartridges? Well, if steel is the way forward, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. I really don't. Uh, with the 21 gram, it performed exactly the same as I felt a 21 gram lead does. I don't shoot a 21 gram very often, but um, the brakes at close range were dusting like a 21 gram lead does, and then the brakes at further distances were very similar. So I defy anybody to tell the difference on a lead versus steel cartridge, really. Even the uh, shooting gods would have a hard time convincing me that they can tell the difference. But for me, the real winner was this 16 gram. I mean, essentially it's like a 410 cartridge and it was competing admirably up against some of the very best fibre cartridges on the market, such as the Game Boy Darkstorm and BMP. And yes, at distance, the brakes weren't as convincing, but it was still breaking them. And a break is a break is a point on your scorecard. Now, like I was speaking to Matt, the chief instructor at Lee Marston, who also recently gained his England cap for skeet so he knows a thing or two and like he said and we agreed if the worst comes to the worst target setters will just have to show a bit more belly or a bit more face not so many edge on targets or for a distance perhaps a batu but we both agreed again that it probably isn't necessary if you base the evidence on this 16 gram breaking 50 yard shondells at lee marston you know that's a difficult target and any decent target setter could make that a hard pair to test even the best of us so conclusion lyle vale this isn't a super light steel this is a little beast that can compete against bigger animals so i'm renaming it the honey badger honestly it's an absolute little demon fantastic cartridge well done If you want to continue watching, I've just put a little montage together of some of the brakes using both the 21 gram and the 16 gram, and I'll just put a little notification on which one's which for you. Thanks for watching.